Hi, welcome back to Shitty- Fuck. Hi, welcome back to City Flags, where we make fun of local governments for shirking their vexillological responsibilities in favor of silly things like governance and serving the public. We've already covered the western states, so Midwest. The Great Plains states think they're the Midwest, and that the Great Lakes states are their own thing. The Great Lakes states think that they're the Midwest, and that the Great Plains states are dumb and stupid. People who don't know geography might think that the Midwest is right to the west of the Mideast. But nope, that's Cyprus. <laughs> As someone from the West West West, you're all in the West, get over it. That includes you, Cyprus. The great state of North Dakota, home to the world's second largest Dakota. Let's start with the capital. Bismarck. It's bad. Gu guys, your, your star is leaking. What an awful start. And it's only the second most heinous flag that comes up when you Google it. With that as our baseline, I can't imagine Fargo being much better. Well, uh, actually, uh, nah, it still sucks. The design is solid, but... Why do you leave it out in the sun? You know how basically every flag in the world uses bright contrasting colors to make their design pop and make it clearly visible from a distance? Froggy uses grayish blue, faded yellow, and an off-white. Uh, here, I'll fix it. Maybe South Dakota's better. Pierre, no. Oh, mother you're back? Sioux Falls. Oh, wait, that's actually pretty good. I like the falls. What are they called? Uh, the, 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 what are the Sioux Falls. It was only adopted in 2018, so I guess after 150 years of just sitting there, existing, Sioux Falls thought, We got nothing better to do. Here. This is the longest anyone has ever talked about the Dakotas without falling asleep. So let's move on to a more interesting state. Nebraska! <laughs> Omaha! Guys, you fucked up your circle. Okay, the flag isn't actually official. It's a proposal from Omaha to replace... this. And yeah, it, it, it's better. But their rising sun motif has been done way better, a million times. Omaha, a worse version of Malawi. The people running the campaign made this page of designs using their flag, and I gotta say, I'm convinced. The flag looks way better on a cow. Lincoln, Nebraska. This design is really good for anything that's not a flag. Sorry, sorry, it looks really good on my computer screen, but flapping in the wind from a distance? It's teal. This flag was the winner of a flag contest in 2021, and looking at the four finalists, really good, really bad, the owl is staring at me. Kansas is a place that exists. Kansas City, nope, nope, not that one, not the one people care about, the other one that's actually in Kansas. You know how I know that no one cares about Kansas City, Kansas? This is the best image of their flag on the internet. It's got a cow on it, I'll give them this. Flags and bovines, winning combination. Overland Park, Kansas, above and beyond, by design, design, design. This flag, design. They put design on the flag, a badly designed flag, design. A flag with a worse design than the previous design. <clears throat> oh, Topeka, oh, that's actually really good. A sunflower for the capital of the sunflower state, a nine point star, that's unique. A flag this good for a city in this country could only be adopted in, yep, 2019, checks out. It seems like a wave of good flags has gone across the middle of the country in the past few years. I mean, makes sense. What else do they have out there besides corn husking and slapping newly designed flags on cows? Wichita looks like another good one. Let's see... 1937? Congratulations to Wichita on being ahead of the curve on this and nothing else ever in their entire history. Wait, wait, hold on. I recognize that symbol from New Mexico. I wonder what it means. Ah uh, yes, the Native American symbol for happiness. All these people across all this land, with thousands of distinct cultures, with one symbol for happiness. Bullshit, what's it actually? Okay, so it's actually a sacred symbol of the Zia, representing the sun, which is why it's on New Mexico's flag, because that's where the Zia actually live. No relation whatsoever to Wichita. Wichita. Did you use a sacred symbol from a marginalized group just because you thought it looked cool, without caring to understand the actual meaning and cultural context behind it? Wichita. I am in misery. <sighs> Kansas City, the actual one. Okay, so you start with the French flag, even though you were founded 50 years after the French left. Makes sense. Then you add this symbol, which I actually really like. It's a fountain. Kansas City is apparently called City of Fountains. Makes sense. But it's also a heart, because Kansas City calls itself the heart of the nation. That's fucking great symbolism. And props to you for not feeling the need to spell it out in text or write the name of the city on it. You really just let it speak for itself. Good job. Oh wait, oh wait, wait, what's that? Wait, 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 this flag isn't official, apparently. What's the real one? Ah, that's worse. 
You forgot that a flag isn't just a PNG on a computer, it's a real piece of cloth that someone has to sew, and how the fuck do you sew this gradient? Also, is everyone in your city bisexual? Springfield, Missouri just changed their flag earlier this year. And yep, that sure is a flag of a place named Springfield in Missouri, in the United States of America. I don't even care about what the new one represents, it's longer represents something. Jefferson City, Missouri. Jefferson City, Missouri. Do I have to do this one? You can already tell it's bad. It has an outline of Missouri on it. If you have the shape of the thing you're representing on your flag, you have failed symbolism. You hear that, Cypress? I'm coming for you, you Midwestern state. St. Louis, please have the arch, please have the arch, please have the arch. It's an iconic symbol of your city with a simple but distinctive shape which would look good silhouetted on a flag. If it doesn't have the arch, I'm going to scream. Ah, actually, I really like this one. You got the French Fleur de Lis. Which makes sense because, you know, it was actually founded by the French. But you've also got the two rivers converging into one. Yep, this flag is a work of nonfiction. And it actually looks good. I like the wavy lines. Congratulations, St. Louis. You're officially better than Kansas City. I wish I could say that about myself. All right, now that I've started a civil war, let's go to Iowa. You know, I'm actually a half Dubuquian, no matter what the Census Bureau thinks. So I'd like to see the flag, but it's just too small. Putting two gigantic borders on a flag doesn't make it better. It just makes it harder to see. Sioux City! Jesus Christ, Sioux City. You're the fourth largest city in Iowa, not a toy store. Wait, is that a trademark symbol? Des Moines! You know, something I've always wondered about Des Moines is... How many bridges does it have? Well, that answers my question. Good flag. Now, Iowa City. The city of Iowa City. A city in Iowa. The city of Iowa City, Iowa. The city of Iowa City of City of the Iowa of the of the of the city of Iowa City of the city of running out of color ink. Cedar Rapids. Ah, uh, they should change that. Oh, they did. Last year. That, that's good. That, that's really good, actually. Midwesterners are good at two things. Growing corn and designing really good city flags in the late 2010s slash early 2020s. Start quoting that, it's now a saying. Why did I look at five whole cities in Iowa of all states? Well, we all make mistakes. Nothing to do now except go to Minnesota. Rochester! No, not that one. Rochester! Excessively detailed skyline. Goose, 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 circle. This font that for five minutes in the late 70s looked cool and futuristic and like something that should be on our city flag. There's actually a campaign at the moment to change the flag. They held a contest for their replacement, and it's good. Although, I much prefer the runner-up. Corn Tower! At first glance, I thought Minneapolis's flag was a pennant, which got me really excited because I have been looking at rectangles for six hours. But it turns out it's just a white background. <laughs> well, not if I have anything to say about it. Aside from that, the flag showcases the four things that everyone associates with Minneapolis. Neoclassical architecture seafaring, microbiology, and the letter L. St. Paul is next door, and the entire angel has descended from the heavens to save the souls of all subscribed to the gospel of the automotive industry. The veteran shall be forsaken. All hail our every deity. The angel's name, Paul. Duluth has a new flag, adopted in 2019. All hail Duluth's new flag. Guys, guys, I just did the all hail bit. Try to keep up, perfect Duluth day. Wisconsin time, let's start with Green Bay. It looks like something you find wrapped around a water bottle. Look, I get that your football team is your entire civic identity, but putting it on your flag is just tacky. So, if you know anything about American city flags, or let's be honest, if you watch this TED talk, then you know what's coming next. Milwaukee! What should we put on our flag? American 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 okay. We. Baseball stadium, a giant gear, buildings, a racist caricature, a blue collar worker with a genie lamp, a better flag, another better flag, a boat, honestly, a third better flag, church, four numbers, a bunch of birds, I added Waldo to the flag, did you even notice? And as if they hadn't made the most recognizable for all the wrong reasons flag in the Midwest, they just had to put their name on it too. Luckily, the people of Milwaukee have come up with a better flag, representing the sun rising over Lake Michigan. It's pretty, and people started adopting it, putting it on things. The people in charge of the city seem more hesitant, though. This has not been an inclusive process in my opinion, he said. I have significant portions of my district, African Americans, that were not included and were offended by the design. It's the fucking sun. They also didn't like how the flag was similar to Reno's new flag, despite Reno's flag coming, uh, uh, after. It will look like we copied them. For me, that's an issue. <laughs> More of an issue than this? I hid another Waldo. Try to find it. Alright, time for Madison. Alright, that's a pretty cool flag. I wonder what it represents. Oh. Oh, oh, that's re that's really cool. I like that. 
the flag was adopted in 2018, but it was only a slight alteration of the flag adopted in 20 negative 38. So let's look at that one. Oh, it's the fucking Native American symbol for happiness. Yeah, around 2015, the city started promoting its existing flag as a symbol of city pride, which presumably caused someone to go like, Wait. It looks a bit less cool now, admittedly, but, you know, 1,062 miles is a long way. Time for Illinois, and by that I mean Chicago! Probably, I mean, definitely the most famous city flag out there. And for good reason, it's rich with meaning. The blue stripes represent the north and south branches of the Chicago River, as well as Lake Michigan and the Great Canal. The white on top represents Chicago's north side, the white in the bottom represents Chicago's south side, and the white in the middle represents Chicago's middle si Chicago's west side. Sure. In the middle are four six-pointed stars, each representing an event in Chicago's history. That time we had a big fair. The other time we had a big fair. The time we built a badass fortress. And the time a fire destroyed the city, including Aforementioned Fortress. All six of the points on every star also represent some aspect of Chicago. Health, transportation, labor, etc. But when you have to come up with 24, you start having to resort to stuff like, Hey, we were technically part of Virginia for 15 years, isn't that weird? Many Chicagoans regard their flag as the best flag of any American city, hands down, and I... I mean, it, it's a good flag. Have you seen Phoenix? They got a badass firebird on their flag. I get it though. Chicagoans have a lot of pride for their flag. They put it on shirts, they put it on hats, they put it on cows, yes please! This flag inspires more local pride than any flag I have talked about or will talk about. And seeing as that's a flag's, you know, whole purpose, you could definitely make the case that this is the best city flag. I mean, you could, but I won't. I'm a Portland boy. Right next door is Naperville. What the fuck is a neighbor? It's a good enough flag. It's got a tree on it. Naperville probably has a tree in it. Moving on. Rockford is the largest city in Illinois outside the Chicago area, which is kind of like being the second most important person named Joe Biden. I mean, it's someone. Their flag is stupid. It looks like the logo of a venture capital firm, but there is an ongoing campaign to change it. They picked this as their replacement in 2018, and it's very pleasing on the eyes. I guess the old saying rings true. Midwesterners are good at two things, growing corn and designing really good city flags in the late 2010s slash early 2020s. Peoria is also a city in Illinois. Your flag is too bright, the yellow is blinding me. You have the awesome problem as Fargo. Springfield, Illinois used to have a good flag, but then they got self-conscious and decided to slap their name on it. God damn it, Springfield. There's reason most flags look like this, and not this. That's enough attention given to Downstate Illinois. I don't really care about Downstate Illinois. You don't care about Downstate Illinois. And if you disagree, you're from Downstate Illinois. Let's move on to a place everyone cares about. Indiana! Whoa! draw two straight lines through the middle of the state and put the capital where they intersect. That's Indianapolis's creation story, and also what the flag represents. Pretty good. Pretty simple, but that's not a problem. Ukraine's flag is pretty simple, but everyone's doing crazy about it right now for reasons I do not know and will now Google. Oh shit. Gary, Indiana, your flag is wearing suspenders. It's an ugly seal depicting a white person shaking hands with a black person. Pretty on the nose there. I can't say I disagree with the message, but I can say this group, the aesthetics, your flag is ugly. Fun fact, before Pete Buttigieg lost to becoming president, he won at flag design. Yeah, he signed off on South Bend's new flag in 2016, replacing... <laughs> it's a good flag. It really sends the message that South Bend is a town on a river. Evansville, Indiana. Why can't these seals leave me alone? Luckily, they're currently in the process of replacing it. Yeah, that's right. Get fucked! Wait, wait, no, actually, false alarm. They put the process on hold because the people were mad that their new designs didn't have the town's name on it. Well, there goes all hope for Indiana. Michigan! Detroit, your flag has too many things on it. America, England, France, America again. City seal. It's got two women. City not on fire, city on fire. Symbolizing how Detroit looks and how Detroit feels. This flag has some pretty good symbolism with a teeny tiny problem that's fucking hideous. In 2018, some guy designed a better flag, then promptly stood in front of it, made the news, and gave up. It's a very sexy flag, it's a shame it didn't pick up more steam. Detroit, get on this. What else do you have going on? Oh yeah. Grand Rapids. You better have some grand fucking rapids on your flag. Nope, it's just another boring ass seal! Can you please have a less boring flag? What the fuck? Okay, so, so this is the official city flag, but apparently they use their city banner more often. What in question? What the fuck is this? Just kidding, I know what it is. It's Pac-Man with blood-stained fangs. So this flag tells me that Grand Rapids is boring, and this flag tells me that it's fucking insane. And its old flag tells me they probably have enough chairs. Ann Arbor. That certainly is Ann Arbor. 
All right, let's check out Flint. Holy shit, that's badass. Wait, wait, false alarm. This is the flag of Captain Flint, a fictional pirate from Treasure Island. Flint the city does have a flag, and the less said about it, the better. I mean, I might suggest that they steal this, but a flag representing imminent death isn't really the message they want to send right now. Now, Toledo, Ohio, they can adopt it no problem. Toledo's namesake back in Spain has a flag, and it sends a message of Todos de benucinarse ante el gigante pajaro real bicefalo de España. Whereas the one in Ohio sends the message of Seal of the city of Toledo, January 7, 1837. You know, the further east we go, the more bad and boring flags get. If you're in South Dakota? Yeah, I'll change the flag, why not? And if they haven't gotten around to it yet, at least it's bad in an interesting way. If you're gonna make my eyes bleed, at least make them bleed a lot. Cleveland, same fucking story. Progress and prosperity. Two things Cleveland wishes it had. Columbus, really? Again? Ah uh, yes, the stock medieval font. Perfect for Columbus fucking Ohio. Cincinnati, okay, it's a little better. You took a big C, you took the Ohio River, and you honestly could've stopped there. But, you had some leaves. Okay, you could do without those, but the flag's still good. And for the fishing touch, you fill the sea with a bunch of pointless bullshit! Akron, all-American city. Looking at a map, I can confirm this is true. 1981, 1995, and 2008. Three years where Akron existed. And that's it for the Midwest. I could do Canton, Ohio, but we both suffered enough today. And interestingly, there's a clear gradient from genuinely good, recently adopted flags to... Something here feels unresolved, though. Maybe because so many cities in this part of the country are trying to revive themselves, reinvent themselves turn their decline around, and rise from the ashes. But their flags, a huge potential symbol of city pride, still look like... Yeah. So maybe that's why. Or maybe... Oh shit, I forgot Cyprus! The flag of Nicosia Cyprus has a dove in the middle representing peace, obviously, and eight of... these things around it. Well, they're actually supposed to be the wall surrounding the city. I like that, it's a good flag. Really pretty, great symbolism, all around, good job. I put it on the cow.